Hi, I'm Phyllis. Southernfrugal.com is my website. Um, today we're making chili and I'm going to use some of these beans. Can you all see that? Myocoba beans. And these I got at Walmart in the uh, section that has Mexican foods. And I've only cooked half a pack. Actually, I cooked the other half another time. But uh, I did it in the Instant Pot. Now, I simply followed the directions on the back as far as soaking them and that kind of thing. So I soaked them overnight and uh, I cooked them in the Instant Pot just on the setting that says beans. I just pushed it, it's 30 minutes. Then I let the uh, steam come down on its own. So the beans are ready. And I've never made the chili with these beans before, so this is gonna be very interesting. All right, so let's see what we're gonna do. Now I've already browned one pound of 85% uh, lean uh, beef. This is grass-fed beef, and I'm going to talk to you all about that towards the end of this video. But I leave it in sections so there's a hunks of meat, in other words. So I'm going to dump that in. And I've also uh, cooked, or, or lightly cooked, one bell pepper, one green bell pepper, and one sort of medium onion. Now, I cook the onions and the uh, bell peppers after I cook the hamburger. And the reason is, see all those little specks of brown goodness in there? They will come up off the skillet because the onions are watery and so are the peppers. So that helps to get all that flavor for the chili. So I'm going to dump those in there now. They're not totally cooked, but maybe three-fourths of the way cooked. Chop those in. Now I haven't uh, mixed them up yet. So now I'm going to add about two tablespoons of chopped fresh cilantro. Dump that in. And I'm going to add some garlic powder and I'm going to use two teaspoons. And sprinkle it in and it's actually being sprinkled in on this meat and uh, peppers and onions and the cilantro right on top. All right, so that's the garlic. Now I'm gonna use one teaspoon of cumin. Just one teaspoon of that. And I'm going to use one tablespoon of chili powder. Go that on top. And I'm going to use a tablespoon of Texas peat hot sauce. Now that's not going to make it very hot just because there's a lot of beans here, so I'm going to dump that in. Now let's just mix that around. Let me get it so y'all can see a little better. There. So all those spices are on that hamburger and the onions and the uh, bell peppers. So now I'm going to mix it up with the beans. Yeah, I like those chunks of uh, ground beef in there. In fact, I love the chunks of ground beef. All right, so now we're going to add one can of uh, the petite diced tomatoes. Just dump that right in on top. Spread them out a bit. And now we're going to add one can this is eight ounces of tomato sauce. All right, and now I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar right on top of those tomatoes just to kind of cut the 
acidity of the tomatoes. I know, some of y'all don't approve of that, but we like it. So, all right, now, so now I'm ready to mix it all up. Okay, it already smells good. So we're not going to be eating for probably at least a couple of hours from now. And so what I'm going to do is put this on. First, I'm going to cut the Instant Pot on simmer. Y'all can't really see that. I'm going to put it on, excuse me, not simmer, but saute until it actually comes back up to a boil. Then I'm going to take, take the saute off and just have it the keep warm button because it's going to be at least a couple of hours before we eat. All right, let me back up now and talk to y'all. Maybe by the time we get through talking, it'll, it will be boiling. Okay, I've got a little dog in here. Are you going to drink water, Steely Puff? That's what he usually does. When he hears the camera come on, he comes in here. All right, so uh, what I wanted to talk to you about was... One hundred percent grass-fed ground beef. This came from Aldi, and I actually bought it uh, about probably three weeks ago now. And I bought a couple of packs and froze them so I could try it. And uh, I will have to tell you, it is delicious. I absolutely love it. And also the uh, grass-fed uh, beef roast we got from there was really good. Now I've gotten them from Walmart. Let me turn that up a little. I've gotten them from Walmart before and they were really good, but these are exceptionally good. So I decided I would read the contents and so let me read it to you. All right, it says product of Australia, Uruguay, and or U.S. and it's distributed by Aldi and uh, here's the thing. Uh, this beef is much better than Walmart's as far as their regular meat goes, their regular hamburger. So I also looked back on all my receipts. I had to really search too, but all my receipts, I keep every receipt for everything. Anyway, so I looked it up and the Aldi grass-fed ground beef is $5.29 a pound. That's 85% lean. Now, I could not find where I had purchased hamburger from Walmart. Well, actually, I did find it, but it wasn't um, a one-pound pack, so I, I really didn't have any way to compare it because um, I wasn't sure if it was a one-pound, one-and-a-half, or two-pound pack that I'd bought because the receipt didn't say. And so I had to compare it with Bilo. And I do like uh, Bilo's meat just fine, but, but they didn't have the grass-fed beef. So, Bilo, the lean grass-fed beef, was $5.99 a pound. All these grass-fed beef that's certified organic was $5.29 for a pound. So, I think y'all know the best place to get that is Aldi. Now, I know a lot of y'all do not have Aldi in your area, particularly, I guess, over in England. But anyway, uh, it is certified organic by the NFC, whatever that is, and they give the certification number. So I think Aldi is making a real effort on the meat, and I'll have to tell you it is very, very good. Uh, I, you almost don't recognize it. It's so good because we're so used to eating the other kind that's not, you know, you know they, they fatten them up with, in those feedlots, I think, using corn. Uh, I don't know, we were out west several different times and we went up into the uh, panhandle of Texas and they had a lot of feed yards out there uh, where they fatten them up. They leave the lights on so they eat all night long and uh, fatten them up. But uh, anyway, these are certified uh, uh, ground beef, the grass fed, and I would just guess that none of this was from America. I think it was mostly from Australia and Uruguay is my guess because it tastes different and it is delicious. So I wanted to put that plug in there and no Aldi's does not pay me to say that. They should though, huh? Yeah. But uh, it, I'm just telling you what I've experienced. So you might want to check out their uh, 
beef, it is in our Aldi, it's in a different place than the regular meat. It's more on a little, like if the meat is at the back of the store, it's in little, free, not freezer cases, but refrigerated cases on the right of the store. But it might be different in every Aldi, but you, you can find it, okay? So anyway, I guess that's it. Um, we're just going to have this, it's going to be at least a couple of hours, but I will show you what it looks like in the pot. It's a definite light chili. So hold on. Okay, here's what it looks like. It's obviously a very light chili. Uh, and again, we won't be eating for a couple of hours now. So the main reason I did this video is to tell y'all about this grass-fed beef from Aldi. Yeah, it is really, really good. All right, y'all. We will see y'all next time. Bye for now.